Yo, what's up? My name is Ice Grenade, and welcome to another tutorial. Today, we are looking at these LUTs. So, you'll see that you can make your map look a lot different. You can make it look pretty damn crazy. And using these LUTs, a LUT is a lookup table, and it's like a filter that all the light goes through before you see it on your screen. And you can change the LUT file using any sort of editor to achieve some crazy effects. So, we're going to look into this, and let's do this, guys. I have to record this for the third time because of these some stupid errors. Anyway, let's do this. So, welcome to this LUT tutorial. Basically, I'm going to show you exactly what you can do to change the entire look of your map. If you see what this map looks like right now, what we're going to do is if you jump straight over to Ape Asset Property Editor, and you're going to want to search for LUTs underscore curve, and you'll find this one file here in the LUTs GDT. If you just open this up, and you'll have it here then you're going to want to click on the three little dots and here you go these are where you have your LUT files you should only really have one here and then that T apartment one there ignore the others they're just different ones that I've made uh, what you're going to want to do before you do anything is save a backup so if you just copy and paste that file uh, rename it and call it something whatever you like just make sure you know that it's a backup and yeah then just leave that in case you need to ever come back to it. Then what you can do is you can change this file. If you edit, you can edit it in any program, whether it's Photoshop, Paint.net, Pixlr, GIMP, any program that you, that suits you best. You'll find you can use layers as well on this. It's basically, LUTs is a lookup table. It's a color grading. It's like a filter that all the lighting gets put through before it's seen on your screen. And this is a very magical thing that you can use to, to change entirely how your map looks and it's very very simple to do so if we go quickly back to ape i'm just going to check here right we're going to assign the original one and if you look here on the screen you'll see the colors look pretty dull yeah what we can do is we can go to the file so we go three little dots okay so the first thing you're going to want to do when you're here is if you take the original file and you rename it and call it whatever you want to call it i'll just call it the name of this map golden eye Okay, and then we're just gonna assign that so that it's assigned to this image here. Right, that's the first thing we've done. Now we wanna edit it. So if you click on the three little dots and go to the one we've just made and right click edit. I'm just using paint.net because it's free and other people can therefore get it. You can use any image editing tool that you like as long as you can open TIFF format and save as a TIFF format. There are a lot of things you can do here. People will tell you to create layers. You don't have to, you can do whatever you like. As long as you've got a backup to go back to, it's all good. Here are some little effects that we were toying with. If you mess around with the distort and you set crystallize, you'll see that in game, it will distort all the colors quite a lot, but that gives it a real sort of, I don't know, to me, it looks a little bit like a Borderlandsy sort of feel but it doesn't look right for Call of Duty, so I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna show you, you can use Sepia, so you can check that out, see what it looks like. There you go, if you want a Sepia game, simple as that. If we go back to the saturation, we'll undo that and we'll change the saturation now. If we just save it, so you can quickly see how it looks like normally, uh, and then we're going to go to the saturation and bring it up just a little bit, to make it a little bit more colorful. Save that, and then you'll see it come through in game. If you didn't quite see that, Let's do it up a load so you'll definitely see the difference. Save that and boom, you can definitely see the difference with the color there. Yep, yeah, it's pretty crazy. But you can see that if we go all the way back to the original here and we go one step forward, that, that slight bit of color is nice enough to bring in, to make everything feel a little sharper, I think. It's nice to add a little bit of saturation, but don't go overboard because it makes the game look less and less realistic the more you add. One other change you can do is you can mess around with the brightness and the contrast. So you might want to bring the contrast up a little bit. I'll save that to look at the changes just makes it look a bit color more filled there's all sorts of things you can do say you want it to have a sort of red tint you can go to the curves set to red green blue and adjust the red curve up a little bit so if we put it up there and save you'll see that we've given a red hue to the whole map there are a lot of crazy things you can do as well like inverted colors and that will work as well you'll see that's inverted all the colors you could even change the hue on inverted colors and then bring up the contrast as well so there we go and save that 
and you can come up with some pretty damn crazy looking looks for your map. I'm going to go back to where I was originally. So this is all good for me. I like how this is looking. But yeah, that's how you change the overall look. Big shout to Burko for telling me about the crystallize effect, which got me playing around with all sorts of other new effects as well. You know, you can use artistic oil painting and save and that will, yeah, that will just make it, yeah, I'll mess it about. Sort of like the crystallize, but there's all sorts of weird stuff you can do. But anyway, guys, go have a go have a go at changing those around, making your map look a bit better. I would say only adjust the saturation a tiny bit and, and the contrast. I wouldn't bother with anything else personally, but you guys might find a good reason to do so. But anyway, that's it from me. I hope this has helped you guys out. Yeah, other than that, take it easy, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Adios, people. See ya.